Let's go ahead and activate Watcher. I've seen a version with dragons and still using Knife Juggler and Muster. I think Knife Juggler and Muster are too good to give up. And maybe just not using Quartermaster, but just using like Dragon Consort Ysera and things like that. A lot of healing. I'm probably not going to play it, so. Greetings, traveler. I, I do. I do like the version with Knife Juggler more, though. Knife Juggler and um, and Lester for battle. I'm actually going to just load up this game. It actually makes the most sense. So I'm going to play this and then play Watcher on turn 3 with the Zombie Chow, and then play Defender on turn 4, just completely load up the board. The way I'm playing, uh, I'll be very good against traps, just because I can proc traps with like any of my 2 3s, and I'll have 2 5 6 taunts, but I won't be able to play Mountain Giant because I'm flooding out, I which is fine with me I think against Hunter. Like, it's almost impossible to play Mount Giant against Hunter early. It's actually kind of perfect. My, my opening is so good against traps. I'm gonna probably attack with Chow next turn instead of Argus and then wait to attack with Argus. Just because of explosive. Actually, I'm gonna just attack into that. I'm too weak to unleash the hounds. So if it, even if it's snake, it's almost impossible that my chow dies. My seal for Argus. I think it's time to consider life tapping instead of dropping Zombie Chow and Dark Bomb. Just because I have a board locked down with two Watchers and he's not attacking. If he builds up, I can Shadow Flame, but realistically I want to go big soon. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this still. It's too scary. With Unleash the Hounds. If I put a Zombie Chow, I'm not going to be able to play Mountain Giant next turn, I think. Instead of tap. I, I need to drop some big stuff. Zombie Chow ultimately is still going to be a stillmate through the belcher, I'm not really gonna get through. It's not a big deal, it's just, whatever. It's just trying to go big now. This is nice because I'm actually setting up for like a really good shadow flame. He can't attack through three fives against five six. That's just such bad minion trading. And uh, if he just keeps stalemating it He's gonna get wrecked by Shadow Flame. He doesn't really have a good option. Probably worth it to Shadow Flame. Since as I let him build up more, it, it could become really awkward now. Like eventually he's gonna start using spells, stop building up to get through. Also things like Unleash the Hounds. Start by tapping. Okay, I'm not gonna play the heal bot. He's already used both kill commands. I don't think I should play it until I can play the Molten Giant out. Like, if I play Heal Bot, realistically, in my hand is like a bunch of situational cards. I'm out of stuff to do. Just gonna play this Chow, probably, and, uh, and the Sun Fury, maybe. This is probably fine, actually. Shields up! Probably would have gone face if not for the fact that it's a Twilight Drake. If this is like a 4-9 Yeti, I'd just go face here, but because it's too weak to Owl already, I have to trade for the 2-2. Two -two. I'm not killing both beasts anyways for like a Houndmaster or anything like that, so I see 
205. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. There's like no chance I die here with two kill commands gone and and like 10 health with taunters. There's like no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well. I need something to activate Sylvanas. Sunfear Protector, Shadow Flame. I'm gonna have to tap and play Heal, but I think. I wonder. I have to take a risk. It's too much better. Take 12 still with the heal bot. Whereas this way I mitigate 12 damage. The problem is I'm gonna steal the Shredder minion half the time with the Shadow Flame, but I still I'm not dead, right? If I steal it, I still have the slime. If he doesn't draw an owl or any way deal two damage, that's still my best no shot. Oh, okay, that's easy. I thought I won a long time ago, but oh my god, I used to have PGH and Deathwing. Am I gonna trade Deathwing in? I think so. Yeah, I guess. It doesn't matter, realistically. Ten, seventeen plus six is uh, twenty three damage and one off. scary. Well you should never let someone win. It ruins the integrity of the ladder. <laughs> 